What's going on guys? Welcome to OK Cooks! On today's episode, we're making pizza rolls. Pepperoni pizza rolls. They're kind of like cinnamon buns, but pizza. And rolls. Pepperoni rolls. Let's get cooking! Alex, why are we making pepperoni pizza rolls tonight? Because I like pizza, you like pizza, and we like to roll things up. I can't wait to get my hands around this big, big boy of a roll. It's gonna be stuffed with so much cheese, so many peppies. I mean, I, so I've been thinking about it all day. Okay. But also, I'm really excited to make this. Me too, it's been a while, it's been a long time in the making. So Alex has been throwing this idea around. But other times. But other things have been jumping atop of the list, but not tonight. Nope. It's his time. It's my time to shine. So we're gonna go ahead and make Alex's soon to be famous pepperoni oh. pizza rolls. And they're not your traditional Totino's pizza rolls. They're not like no. tiny Hot Pockets. Mm -mm. They're basically cinnamon buns, but pepperoni pizza style. Is it gonna be like raw inside? Like a, cause you know I like my cinnamon buns a little bit undercooked in the middle. Well, you'll have the, the cheese in there that'll give you that same, that same feeling mm. that you love so much. Mm. Are we gonna be making our own pizza dough tonight from scratch? That doesn't sound like a very okay cooks thing to do. Ain't nobody got time for that. So what kind of dough are we gonna be using? Pillsbury. Should I get it? Sure. All right, let's get it. So um, Alex, we've got classic and we've got thin. I bought both. Mm. I didn't know which one we'd want to use. Honestly, I don't know either. Should we start with the thick boy and we roll it out or should we start with the thin guy and roll him out? Let's start with the thick one. Thick guy? Yeah. Here. Should we open it? I don't know, what do you think? I think we should. You want to save that. It's got Why? the instructions on it. Oh, it does? Yeah. All right, you ready? Just put it anywhere. You can put it right there. Oh, that's perfect. Can you hold out your fist like this? Why? Just please do it. Like this? Yeah. Well, like, sure. Well, All right, you ready? I'm not. <laughs> hold it out. This isn't going to open it. Yes, it'll open. Trust me. We're going to end up in the emergency room tonight. No, what else we are you got? got this. Okay. All right, ready? Are you sure? <laughs> See, we did it. Wow. All right, what do I get to hit you with? Should we drop this down? I mean, yeah, we got to get on the board. That dough looks great. It does. It's crazy how it just came out perfectly flat like that. I know, it's weird. When you hit me in the fist with it, I didn't expect that. I will say one thing. There's a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of chefs, when they would make something like this, they're like, we're gonna make the dough from scratch. Who has the time for that? We like to make things easy. This dough is perfect. Like it's a, such an easy and tasty dough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. So don't, don't think by using the canned dough that you're not an artiste. It's artisanal. When you get your mitts around this big thick roll, and you start slicing it, you're gonna feel like an artist. It's gonna be the finest of art that'll make you feel something. So just cause we're using some canned dough, you're still high end. And it's your time, your time to shine. He's really excited about this dough. All right, uh, before we do this, we also need to flour the rolling pin cause that's gonna stick too. So let me, um... all right, so why don't you go ahead and roll that out. You want me to roll it out? Yeah, you're a better roller than me. You think? Yeah. This looks perfect. Yeah? So there's one thing that I think we should start stewing on. It's gonna be important. Okay. We could either roll it this way or we could roll it this way and get a thick boy. We just won't get as many cinnamon or uh, pizza rolls. Which way you wanna roll it when we start rolling? This way, this way. Hmm. I think we roll it this way. Okay, you want thin guys. Well, I just wanna make sure there's not so much dough in there that it's like iffy if it's cooked. You don't want you don't want that raw center. Nah, I, I'm not down with raw pizza dough. You don't like raw rolls? Say that again. You don't like raw rolls? All right, so we're gonna roll it this way. So I think we should start with cheese. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cheese. All right, Alex, the cheese we're gonna be using today is mozzarella slices. <sighs> going slice game, not shred game on this. It makes sense. So I got two packs. I don't know if we'll need two packs. That would be 20 slices. I think 10 slices might be enough. But you know, I like to be prepared. Are we doing cheese, sauce, pepperoni, sauce, cheese? That might be too much. Oh. Because it's rolled. So I, th I think we do cheese, sauce, 
Peps. Pepperoni. Okay. Roll parmit. Okay. And then we're gonna make something that we smatter on it. But I wanna wait. Cause it's gonna be a blend that the likes of this world has never seen before. Really? I, probably not, but I wanna wait on that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this. Here we go, here we go. I'll give you some. And then I think we just, so, oh, one thing that will be important, since we're gonna be rolling this guy this way. Mm -hmm. You mean this way? <laughs> that way. Uh, we wanna leave like, I don't know, like an inch. Cause you know when we roll it, mainly on these sides, cause when we roll it, since there's sauce, if we sauce it all the way to the edge, it's gonna be a big squirty mess. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. So well, make sure we leave like at least an inch on the side. Yeah. Yeah? How's that, that? That's like three inches. How's that? I think it's fine. Oh, should we meet in the middle? Oh, look at that. They're friends. It's really great. So by using cheese slices, we're gonna get a sheet of cheese. Mm. We're gonna need the other pack. We could just, uh, look, let's fold these. Yeah. And then we're good. You th and that way, when we roll it, it won't all squeeze out the end. You think so? Because we'll do it this way. Yeah. Oh, then we can tie that over and put it to bed. We could put it to bed. All right, so now, uh, sauce? Yes. Are you ready for the sauce I got? I'm ready for the sauce. I got Dia Fratelli. Okay. You think that's how you say it? Uh, Dia Fratelli? Definitely not. How would you say that? I don't know how I would say it. So I got this sauce. Basically, I looked for the cheapest pizza sauce that I could find. Why wouldn't you get the most expensive pizza sauce you could find? That's a great question. Let me tell you why. Because the expensive stuff is super chunky. Ooh, and, and we do not want chunks in this. Yeah, I don't like chunky sauce. So I wanted something that's basically water thin. I want it basically just tomato flavor. So we want tomato soup. Dia Fratelli. Let's open it. All right, let me get a can. Let's... Have you done this before? Hold on, let me open it. Are you gonna punch it? Yeah. What do you think this is gonna look like? Um, tomato soup. Oh wow, that smells great. It does smell good. You know what it smells like? Uh, what are those things? Kids eat them. They're circles. Uh, Bagel bites. No, it's pasta and red sauce. Kids eat Raviolis? it. Raviolis? No. Tortellini. Uh, it's like a man. There's a man on the can. Uh, Chef Boyardee. Raviolis. No, no, they're their thing. Cheerios? No. Honeyos? There's something O's. Spaghettios? That's it. Wow. It's okay. It smells like spaghettios. And that sound is all too familiar. Dia Fratelli. Mm. Honestly, that. this looks great. Dude, I'm telling you, if you're making the OK Cooks signature pepperoni pizza rolls, you want to get the cheapest sauce. Like, why spend eight, like, the jars? Yeah. For like eight dollars, and I could see the chunks. I was looking through the glass, and the chunks were staring me square in the eye. Yeah, you can see this is not chunky. It's smooth, as pizza sauce should be. So, uh, what do you think? Like a thin base? I don't know. This is your this is your cruise ship. I'm just saying. Yeah, we don't we don't want too much sauce. Cause we're gonna roll it. Right. So like, I've never had a savory cinnamon bun thing. Well, today's the day. So you gonna smear that around? Let's smear it. Wow, that's so, so satisfying. Dude, you're a modern day Mona Lisa. A pizza Picasso? You think that's enough sauce? Yes. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. No, I think that's enough sauce. Oh, okay. All right, should we go ahead and move to the peps? I really like the peps we got. Very excited about the Hormels. Mini boys. We got this mini peps. Dude, I do like the ones you can get at the deli. The big ones. Like, that would not work in this. I want to try one. Really get in there. So we're gonna use all of these. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a um, pepperoni pizza roll. Should we cook with this thing in there? Uh, yeah, I think that's a seasoning packet. It's like the thing that comes in the ramen. Oh really? Yeah, let's tear it up and sprinkle it on. Wait. Wait, there's a there's a. It's got a guy with a giant face. Oh, do not eat. Sprinkling it in there. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Yeah, we don't wanna eat that. Let's spread these peps around. Yeah, don't be afraid to eat your hands peppy. Wow, that is a load of mini peps. It looks beautiful. You're gonna get pep in every bite. And don't, don't, uh, 
ignore the ends, you know? Right. We do want pep in every bite. Dude, I want to get pepped. I want to feel every bit of pep. Look at these. Ooh, those peps are a little spicy. I mean, that's pretty standard for pepperonis. Spicy. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Should we put more cheese on top? You know what we could do is sprinkle some Parmesan inside. You just want to do that? Yeah. Okay. So I got the name brand here. It was on oh, sale. Wow. Yeah, Fancy. You know, you know me. Fancy, man. Should I just sprinkle a little bit on? Yeah, I do a layer. Okay, here we go. You can definitely do more than that. Yes? Yeah. All right. I think it's time to roll it. Let's roll it. We can take our time. You don't have to rush the roll. Don't feel like you got to roll it so fast that it's tearing. Take your time. This is where... I'm ready to eat. Well, I want to make sure it's rolled beautifully. It's going to be beautiful. Everything right. we do is beautiful. Is this a one-person job or a two-person job? Um... I think it's a one-person. I'll do it. All right. This is your concoction. Right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> dude. Get out of here with this boy. Thick guy. You know what we need to do? We need to tuck it in. We seal it. Yes. We need to put it to bed. What should we seal it with? Ooh, I think eggs. Butter, garlic, and eggs? Yes. Butter, garlic, and eggs. I want all three. Yes. Maybe some olive oil. No. Quick little garlic butter hack. Put some butter in your bowl, some fresh garlic in there, minced, and microwave it. Oh. Butter. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait. What we're gonna do is we're gonna seal it with an egg wash. Okay. And then we're gonna do the garlic butter on top. So for the garlic butter, fresh minced garlic. Yes. In with the butter. Yes. Before we melt it. Yes, because just raw garlic has a little bit of a bite to it, you know? Watch your thumb. Oh God. Hold your fist up. <laughs> you just dripped garlic juice on me. Let's get it in the microwave. Do you wanna do the honors? Yeah. How long? Uh, 15 seconds to start. Garlic butter is kind of melted. At this point, you just want to stir up the butter, get everything blended up. That way you don't burn any of your garlic. Ooh, Burnt garlic tastes Sh like garbage. Show them, show them. Look at that. Nice. All right, Perfect. back in the microwave, 15 more seconds. While that's cooking, let's make an egg wash. Egg wash. That sounds like a sandwich you would get. An egg wish? In like the 1700s. Sure. Butter's done. I've just been standing here with this egg and bowl for a minute. Okay. How many eggs? Just, we just need one, right? Yeah, one egg's fine. Wow. Or we gonna start with eggs? Start with the egg wash. Okay. All right. Ooh, you're gonna get a nice little seal ring. Yeah, gotta seal it up real good. You don't want any of those peps to get out, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, they were pretty slippery. Yep, slippery peps, they'll get you. Ooh. Just a little light coat in there. All right, let's finish the roll, you ready? Yep. Wow. Gorgeous. Look at that, that looks incredible. All right, so now I feel like I need to get a, uh, a baking sheet lined with parch, parch uh, parchment paper. And then we'll cut this and put it on it? Yep. All right, let me get it. Parchment, paper, lined, baking sheet. Now we gotta use a bread knife to delicately cut it because you wanna use something with a little bit of serrades here because if you use a regular knife, you're gonna squash it. Okay. Wow, that cut like butter. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, how thick? Ooh, we didn't talk about this. How thick do we want them? I think like, we go two fingers. You don't wanna do a three finger? Oh yeah, let's make them thick. Like tall boys. Yeah. Doop. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Once you cut one, then you just kind of like eyeball them. Ooh, I can feel the cheese, the peps. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at those. Oh god, I'm oh, just. Oh, you pulled one right out. So many peps are coming out. Oh no. I mean, it's okay. There was about 176 peps in this. Mm. I don't know why. When there's like pastry or like some sort of dough on the board, I just feel like I gotta be quiet. I make this guy super big. So I have an idea though. Like, you know when you get pizza from a restaurant, there's always like cornmeal on the bottom of the pizza? Yeah. I wanna put some cornmeal on this. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna be good, bad, but something about that is tickling my fancy. I think it'd be okay. All right, here, hold this. Oh. <laughs> it was a little light and then it was a little heavy. Now spread it around. And what does this do exactly? I don't know, but they do it in pizza restaurants, so I wanted to try it. 
Well, I know what it does. I wanted to see if you knew. Oh, I don't. It's to help the pizza slide off the peel better. Oh. You know when they put it in that big oven with the pizza peel? They just shove it in there and it just That's slides. called a pizza peel? That big wooden spoon? Yeah. It's a peel. Wow. The more you know. Here, I'm going to hold this and uh, I'll let you place. Ooh, put that guy there. Oh my goodness. These are like towers, man. These are like little buildings. They've got their own zip code. <laughs> we are definitely going to eat all of these. These are going to be gone in the blink of an eye. All right, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's tuck all these little guys back in here. Just put them right to bed. Now, should we put anything on top of them? A hundred percent. This is where the garlic butter comes in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Take me there. I'm going to take you there. Are you going to pour it? Uh, no, I think I might uh, need a spoon. Do you have a spoon? Do you have a spoon close by? No. Spoon. You're going to spoon it on. My mouth just filled with so much saliva. It usually does about this time. It's like once, it, whatever we're cooking, once it's like about to start cooking or put in something in the oven, my body just starts prepping. Mm. I can smell the garlic. Yeah, it's that microwaving it with the butter, man. It does wonders. It does things. Did I get all of them? I think you did. All right, perfect. Now let's get some parm on. You parm it. No more sauce? What do you mean? I don't know. You don't want to put any more sauce on top? Oh, you want like pizza sauce on top? Yeah. Oh, just sure. a little, just like a little, a little bit, not a lot. Sure, man. Just like a little. Just cap them off. Yeah, because it'll soak in. You think? We'll see. It'll be like let me in. Oh All right, parm on top. Yeah, like a lot or a little. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, why not? I mean, there's nothing to lose. Dude, that looks. They look ready. Yes. All right, so now all we gotta do is we gotta cook these in a 400 degrees oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna feel it out. We'll check them at 15 minutes. See what happens. They need more time? Give more time. Give more time. All right, let's go ahead and get these in the oven. Pizza rolls are done. Oh. <laughs> These things look out of this world. Some of this looks like an alien stalactite. <laughs> Those look great. Dude, these look so good. Very excited. How hot do you think they are? You would die. I think they're very hot. <laughs> One last step, time to add a little bit more garlic butter sauce. Ooh. Those are some glazed buns. Dim glazed. Well, I guess it's probably about time. You know what time it is? Finally time to eat it. Let's taste it! Did these look great? I mean, look at, look at this. It's too close. I'm gonna have to eat it right now. Dude, the butter and garlic. Oh God, it smells so good. The salsa? It smells so good. Sauce? Let's Sauce. eat it. Let's right, eat let's it. it. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Which one do you want? I don't know. Pick one. The middle. Okay. I'm gonna go for... Wow. This guy. Ooh, crispy boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, the bottom. I know. The cheese. Oh. The char of the cheese. And the garlicky butter all over God, the bottom. that looks so good. All right, well. I'm gonna cut mine, because... Hot lava. I'm a brave man. I don't need to cut it. See yourself, man. Look at the inside. Oh, oh look at the steam. Steaming. Oh, yeah, you're... probably gonna regret it. It's okay, I'll live with it. I live with my choices. Oh man, it comes apart like a cinnamon bun. Oh, it's a, it's a pizza roll. Yeah. It's a pepperoni pizza roll. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, man. Dude. This strip tastes like a steak and pizza. 
Are you kidding me? This is so good. This might be the it's just best, best thing we've ever made. Wow. Oh, that was a hot part. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I found the magma middle. Very hot. We'll make these again. What are the flavors I'm getting? The butter, you have to do the butter garlic. Yeah. That half microwaving the butter with the garlic, mm -hmm. I'm glad we made more and you literally poured that over the top. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little dippage. But this super cheap pizza sauce is also really good. I'm blown away. <laughs> How much would you pay for this at a restaurant? Like, would this be an appetizer or an entree? I think this would have to be an app because it's like a shareable thing. Mm. 12 bucks. Are we, wait, wait, wait. What kind of restaurant are we at? <laughs> are we at like What kind Applebee's? of restaurant would these be at? Oh, really? I mean, I could see this at a high-end establishment. Yeah. They wouldn't call them pepperoni pizza rolls. No. They call them Pepe Dalla Roll El Acaccio Pepe. Yeah, they could call them that. How much would you pay for this? It To me, it's like a $15 app. I'm with you. What did I say? <clears throat> 12. Yeah. yeah. I'm going in for round two. Dude, me too. You can't stop me. Which one do I want, though? So, since the cinnamon buns, or the pepperoni pizza rolls <laughs> since they there was so much cheese in them they were open this oh, some of the cheese would melt to the bottom yeah. and it kind of like charred made Look a little this. a seal on the bottom but that flavor of that slight and it's not that charred no but the cornmeal the kept yeah. it from sticking mm -hmm. holy crap yeah it's like the flavor you're getting from that kind of like toasted mozzarella yeah and a little bit of farm in there and the garlic butter holy crap dude Yeah. I these are out there for me. <laughs> I'm so blown away. We waited too long. Yeah. Well, this idea had to percolate a little, you know. Cause like, you can't just find these on YouTube. If you search pizza cinnamon bun, you just get cinnamon buns. Yeah. And if you search pizza roll, you just get Tostino pizza rolls. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of wedged right in the middle of that. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, the way it tears apart like a cinnamon bun, that's my favorite part. With the cheese, these little and the little peps. Mm -hmm. I love the little peps. Yeah, that was a good call. Because the little peps, you're, I'm getting pep in every bite. Look at the steam coming off of this. Honestly, I want to make this again tomorrow. I'm ready for to eat this all over again. Because we're not going to have any left over. Uh-uh. I'm still blown away. We were just figuring this out as we, we've never made this before. Mm. We were figuring it out as we went and I would not change <clears throat> anything. Mm -mm. How long did we cook these? It was super easy. 20 minutes. They're cooked per it's ridiculous. They are literally cooked perfect. This is one of the easier ones we've done too. And to have this result from an easy recipe is, um, mm. it's great. This sauce. Yeah, sleeper sauce. It was the cheapest, mm -hmm. don't judge a sauce by its can. This Irvine's was the price. only pizza sauce in a can of soup style can. Everything else was in jars. Yeah. I locked eyes with that can because I had done all the price tags and I saw the 99 cents and I was like, I see you. You locked eyes. I hear you. I'll I'm, buy you. I'm here for you. We're going to make you one of the tastiest entrees the OK Cooks have ever made. And we did. <laughs> little, little pep on the bottom. It's got a little belly button. Oh. Dude, seriously, lock into this bottom. It is a delicious bottom. Like It's what it should look like. That is making it. All right. 20 minutes. That's all it takes. You know what, Alex? What? Let's go ahead and close this down. All right. Would you say we took cinnamon buns and pizza them? <laughs> yes. Would you change anything about these cinnamon, uh, no, uh, pizza, pizza, pepperoni pizza, pepperoni Oops. pizza roll-ups? Roll buns. Uh, no, I wouldn't change anything. I would just eat more of them. I think we did it, Alex. That's it. <laughs> we 100% did it. I, I hope you guys give this a shot. Yeah. Give it a try. This is one I would wholeheartedly recommend. I mean, seriously, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you really felt this, give us a thumbs up. Give us some subs. We could use your subs, cause I'm hungry. Feed me them subs, 12 inch subs. I'm more of a six inch guy. Okay. All right.
Well, we'll see you guys next week. Right? Yeah. Let's get cooking! Put it down. We're not ready for this. I'm game. ready. We put cheese and sauce and pepperoni. You had me a pepperoni. Was that the last thing that you said? That was the last thing. You had me at the, you closed me with the peps. Fair enough. That look, that, uh, <laughs> that look, uh, that though looks great. It does. How would you say it? Raw rolls? It, it sounds like you're trying to say something else, but you can't talk well. So you're like mispronouncing something. <laughs> like when Scooby Doo says uh oh, he yeah. goes raw roll. Yeah, similar. That's a raw roll. Yeah. Because it's a raw pizza roll. Roll, got it. You were supposed to hit it against my fist. <laughs> oh, okay, hold your fist up. <laughs> hold your fist up. You just punched a can. Hold your fist up. <laughs> now, what if we get the eggs and the butter confused? I mean, look at this. Uh, I can tell the difference. I think we're good. I don't know if I can.